Hey guys and welcome back. I uh, just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to get the magnetometer and barometer sort of configured in base flight. As we can see here I've got a full nose board because um, the magnetometer and barometer is uh, shown as green up in the top right here. And uh, to basically get this configured what we need to do is calibrate the magnetometer. Now I've looked on the net and there wasn't a lot of stuff around so what I'll do is um, I'll show you how I've gone about calibrating my magnetometer um, and also how I've set up all the switches in the system so that we can uh, use that in the flight modes. So for the first thing that we need to do we'll go off and we'll hit this calibrate magnetometer and, uh, and then it'll uh, calibrate the system. So you would hit this button here. Okay, I'm going to try to demonstrate how I do the calibration. Um, when I did it, of course, I had the nose connected in and I hit the calibrate button on the uh, base flight system to uh, initialize it. So we've got 30 seconds to calibrate the, the quad. And what we want to do is calibrate it in all three axes. So we need to calibrate the yaw axis, the roll axis, and the pitch axis. So the way that I do it is I start to spin and start with the yaw axis, so I'll rotate that. Then I roll it over, and then I do the pitch axis, rotating that. And then I roll it over again, and I rotate it to do the roll axis. All within 30 seconds. Now once that's done, the calibration would automatically stop. So on my Tyrannus, I have a three position switch set up for flight modes. Um, in the normal position, that's in rate mode because I only fly in rate mode. Uh, this is going to be the horizon mode with magnetometer and uh, barometer enabled. And the last one is for just the horizon mode with a barometer enabled. So we get a bit of a height hold. So the next thing that we need to do is set the mode selection switches. So what I have is a three position switch and uh, at the moment it's set to um, low in this case and I fly rate mode all the time so that's that's my default setting. Just to remove the switch to the middle, Attitude mode. Uh, what we see is that I've actually enabled horizon the barometer and the magnetometer all in one. So that's kind of going to be my position hold, altitude hold uh, system setting. And my other position on my three position switch is purely horizon mode with barometer. And that's to basically enable the um, a, a height hold for any of the flying modes that I'm trying to do on this one here. Uh, it's as simple as that. Enabling those uh, when you go fly will activate those um, those features. So one last thing before you go and fly the uh, the, uh, the quad is that uh, you need to put a piece of foam over the barometer. Um, there seems to be a problem where the prop wash actually affects the sensitivity of the barometer and causes the, the quad to raise and lower if you don't have that on there. So um, this is basically placed on the top and it sort of deflects some of that um, additional wind that you normally get over the over the sensor. All right, let's uh, grab the cine tank and we'll go for a fly and see how it uh, behaves with the heading and um, I suppose altitude hold, position hold type functionality. And uh, yeah, we'll see how good it behaves. Okay, this is manual mode. Bit of wind kicking up at the moment. Okay, switching to position hold. I'm having to push it forward a bit. Not touching the throttle. Got 
Better forward. Seems sort of to be holding altitude, not on the throttle. I'll let it go, it seems to want to go backwards though. Mag heading sort of holding. Well, no, maybe for initial setup that's not too bad. You can sort of see it trying to hold its altitude. You can hear the motors revving. Cool.